Hey, the Mad Hermit here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to collect resources in the Hidden Vale. Now, living off the land might seem like a difficult proposition to some, but once you know what you're looking for, you'll find that the wilderness is teeming with life-sustaining plants, animals, and minerals. Now, before you begin your trek into the great outdoors, you're going to have to make sure you have the correct equipment. The Merchant Handak at the Crafting Pavilion in Owl's Head has all the equipment you'll need. There you can pick up a harvesting axe, a pickaxe, a sickle, and a skinning knife, all for the low price of 40 gold. Each of these tools provides a different function and are used differently than your sword and shield in that they're not dragged to your paper doll and equipped in your hand, but rather dragged to your quick bar slots that are located in the bottom center of your screen. Once your tools have been purchased and equipped, it's time to start hunting. The skins of animals can be harvested to collect their hides, which can then be turned into leather. To collect the hide, you'll want to stand close to the kill, and then single click on the appropriate tool, in this case the skinning knife. Small games such as rabbits will provide you with animal hide scraps. Stags, wolves, and bears will provide you with varying quantity and quality of hides. Trees provide wood, but not all trees can be felled. The secret is in knowing. But like everything else, once you know where to look, it's hard not to find them. Red trees are harvestable trees. Standing next to one and clicking on your harvesting axe allows you to chop it down and collect its resources. Once a tree has been knocked down, no further resources can be obtained from it. Okay, pop quiz. Can you find the harvestable tree? I told you. Now you can't not find it. To mine ore, you're going to have to find stone with an ore vein in it. Like trees, ore veins stick out like a sore thumb once you know where to look. To mine ore, you'll stand next to it and then click on your pickaxe. Don't be alarmed if you don't get an animation. Remember, it's pre-alpha and the animations don't always work. Rumor has it that Rustic Dragon likes to do two things naked under the moonlight. Bake bread and pick cotton. Don't ask me how I know, it's just a well-known fact. To pick cotton, you're going to need a sickle. And like trees and ore, once you know what a cotton tree looks like, you'll be able to spot them at will. Anyway, that concludes this video. Remember, the Alienware $20 Shroud of the Avatar promotion is still going on. If you haven't backed or if you have backed the program, you can get $20 added to your account just by clicking a link. I'll add that link below just in case you haven't seen it because it's free soda money. And for many, $20 will actually boost you up one or two pledge levels. All right, that's all I got. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.